Just got back from my ride. It seems like I was looking at kilometers versus our uh, miles per hour. So uh, when I thought I was going 75 was actually 45 miles an hour. So that might have been inaccurate there. But uh, I came back and I was just trying to see um, how my, uh, you know, oil cooler was doing, right? So what I did was, first idea is I kind of tugged on this to see. And look at this. Freaking scares me, right? I'm thinking, oh shit. You know, don't tell me. You know, it broke off the other end because that's how look how much slack it is. But I guess maybe the heat made it expand a little bit because oh, it's still tight on this side right here, right? Hopefully it's not loosening. Yeah, it's still tight on this side. And all the way over there, I feel like it's still tightening over there. Let me see if I can get the light key to help me out. Yeah, I still see them on there. Yeah, I still see them on there. You can see it too. See that right there? Let's see if I can lighten it up. So that the nozzle is still on there just as nice. It was before, so those guys aren't coming off. And what I'm thinking of doing is uh, see how I have the tie strap, how it's kind of curving this way, and so it's forcing this guy to come a little bit closer to the exhaust. And it looked like it does hit the exhaust because you can see a little bit of the exhaust there, got a little piece of that aluminum there, so it's kind of melting the aluminum a little bit here because that's how hot these guys get. And you can see here, part of the aluminum is kind of chiseled away right there. So I want to prevent that for future. I thought it would be off the way almost for an inch. I don't know what happened there. Um, so I, when I saw it, it was like this. It was like hovering close to it right here. So I'm not sure what could cause it to come up even though it's a centimeter part. So what we're going to do, we're going to do our part. We're going to break the tie strap here. And we're going to wrap the oil cooler line over here. There was a few cars that kept on passing me, even though I thought I was going pretty good, but I guess everyone's in a hurry during rush hours to get home or something now. So five o'clock, we took up to the UC and looked like everyone's coming down. And now, I, mean, I was at the hospital area, everyone's rushing. And I was trying to enjoy the ride, but um, didn't like the fact that cars were having to change lane and pass me, so that wasn't a good sign. Even though it picked up and go, I had no trouble there. So what I'm gonna do right now is let's go and cut that tie strap and let's reroute him the other way and try to push the tie strap to force it this way, curving him on the other half, let's say. I think that might help a little bit. It might move him away a little bit from this exhaust area here, which you can see it looked like it touched him a little bit. Just kind of nicked him a little bit, not like like seriously. But you can see there's enough here to take him out little by little, right? So, and then we're gonna be able to try to, well, we'll get this guy tie strap eventually too. In fact, let's see, we don't even need him on there now. We can just do it right now. I think we can. So I can see if I can pull him and I can see if I can do this one hand. There we go. Let me pull this guy here. Maybe two hands a little bit, but just to meet each other, right? Kind of keep them closed here. There we go. Can I make it? Okay. Kind of push them in. Come on. Click. There you go. It clicked. I did it with two hands, <laughs> but still I was able to get him through. So this is the length we want him. Keep him protected. Uh, I haven't put the new uh, blue Loctite yet because I'm going to probably do it tomorrow, break the bleed again. I just didn't look forward to it. So I'm going to take off the master cylinder cap and then before I screw the master cylinder cap and then the day I'm probably going to do it. But the mirror didn't actually move for us during our driving. So that was a good thing. So we're going to expect a few, you know, expansion here and there. That's just normal. And then we're going to recap the oil again, put back the 300 milliliter that spurred out, 310 probably that spurt out, put it back in there in the morning before we start the engine again. And then we're gonna use this guy. We're probably gonna consider not using the decompression tube for right now because it's still uh, playing games with us. Speaking of playing games, I should have wiped it before I put it in there. That's fine. Uh, a little more oil ain't gonna hurt our, our uh, you know, sealant there. Our 3M spray or whatever they coat here to make sure there's no water coming in. So let's go and break that tie strap, shall we? Again, I don't want to really work too close with the exhaust right now because it's still hot. So let me go and do that. We got a tie strap there. We just need, um, oh, I thought I brought it. And we got a tie strap. I thought I brought the player, uh, pliers. Up. Let me go get the pliers real quick. All right, all right. Sweet. 
I, this actually was easy to throw over now. So I have no problem throwing it over. That's one good thing. It goes over really quickly. It covers the whole motorcycle. So this covers a lifesaver for right now. So let me go and cut open the strap here. So you're going to see some of my videos in GoPro uh, feature. So hopefully the GoPro does the trick. Then you're going to some see here. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, and now I cut those. That's my little magnet here, which didn't really work in the stoplight. So it still didn't turn on the go for me. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it strapped there. Interesting, though. All right, let's try to get this guy off. All right, so how am I going to cut him without touching the exhaust? Because that will be hot. kind of hard to cut now since he's up above. There we go. <laughs> Definitely don't want to cut the oil, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. I got a grip of him. Come on, snap off. Oh, a little scary there getting near the exhaust. I should wait till the exhaust cools a little bit, but just want to get this out of the way so I can go about the day. Ah. It'd be nice to have some good pliers too, wouldn't you? Go. This was one of my best. Now it's turned to be nothing. Alright, so let me see if I can grab a certain angle. Maybe I can come through straight up, right? So if I come in, oh, by the way, the phone charged up to 50%. So we were driving there for a good 30 minutes. It charged it up pretty well. It, you know, that's an addition to using it at the same time. I didn't use it much. I just kind of like made a few calls here and there while I was on the road, but kept the charge. So that was cool. There we go. Got him. I think I got him for parts of him. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Where is he? All right, all right. Let me go and get the keys real quick to just look at the light key real quick. See how how much it didn't do for us. I mean, how much it uh, took out maybe the pole from the other end. It's kind of hard to see. So let me. Good thing about this light key, huh? There you go. Really super bright. So we got dogs everywhere. All right, so here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna shine the light. Can't see it still. Sort of. You guys can see that? There we go. That's a that's the lock key right now doing it for us. Let's see how the other one looks. I was gonna say we record later on the night we could probably start looking at our adjusting our headlights if we need to. I think it's fine the way it is right now. Yeah, it's okay. I think the holes are coming up to where it should come up. It's not the best light, but yeah, it's not it's not pulling itself off completely. It's just where it was originally. Yeah, it just feels like it has more slack than it wouldn't have in the first place. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie strap it the other way. So let me see if I can get, uh, should have brought the cell phone holder out here. Probably not too late. Let me do that. I might need to get both hands on, on this guy here. Let's see if I can fit the tie strap first and then we'll go for it. I might be able to do it just one hand. Say, so I gotta fit the tie strap through that little hole again. See that little hole right there? That's where I gotta put the tie strap again and then run it, make sure it comes through the other end. Then we're gonna decide to turn it the other way this time. Oh, I think I got him in. No, he might be bending. Yeah, he's bending. He's not coming straight out the other end. I want him to come out straight the other end. Don't wanna bend him in the tube. It's no good to us if he bends out. You know, I found it much easier since these guys are kind of angled. And then when you try to poke them in straight, they're not gonna go straight. Cut the tip off right now. Okay, let me go and get the, go 
go and get the tip off. We don't need all this anyway. Dang, this thing is hard to cut. All right, so we got them. All right, now it should be straight. Makes it a little bit easier. I'm not sure why they gave it a little curve angle. Maybe the head start or something. All right, so this one should be a little bit more easier. There we go. Okay, so the, there we go. So this is coming over. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it the other way. So I'm gonna do my best here. Let me go and get the uh, headlights here real quick. All right. The dog is smiling, he's happy. Let's go so I guess there's a need for the GoPro and then there's a need for recording. Okay, so let's do this. So it's a good thing you inspect it after a ride, you know. We put about what, total of 25 miles now, uh, total. So six miles from yesterday, still 19 miles, I guess. Or that was up in the hill, so we came back down. So I guess, let's see where we're at. Oh, I'll well, cover it already. Right? Maybe next time I'll be able to show you guys. In the meantime, let's just get this guy squared away. The idea was putting him in there was to prevent him from that happening to him near the exhaust because it gets hot. You see it's starting to melt him already. So let's let's see how we're gonna get this guy to come about. Alright, here we go. Shoot, where the heck is it? Alright, so I guess we can tie like that. We tie like that. Or we can go this way. I think this way is better. Because this way is actually forcing this guy to turn the other way right here like this, right? So, it's got to have a trick to him. That we haven't mastered yet, but I think we're getting it. Alright. Just don't want to be careful with my top of my hands here. If it touches the exhaust, it's scorched. It look like I'm getting close here and there, so I gotta be really careful. Wow. Sorry, you guys can't see it for a second here. Straighten it up for a second here. Oh, playing with fire here. All right, there we go. Got it to where I think I want it. See there. So what I'm going to do, if you notice there, it's going to hopefully drag away from the exhaust. I think it is doing it now. Alright, so this is what we want. Now I got to put that guy inside this. There we go. Got, oh shoot, you guys didn't see it, huh? Got him in there. I just gotta unravel him. Or pull him, actually. There we go. Got a little bit of him in there, here and there. All right, let's see how much he can pull over to the one side. Holy smoke. 
does look like he's kind of curvaging on me. But it's good though, he's pulling him an inch away from the exhaust, so that's a good thing. Or maybe, I don't know yet. Let me try to see. I'm not getting any pressure from, oh, oh he's slipping out. Don't want that. Don't tell me he's in the wrong way. But yeah, he's probably in the wrong way. That's why he's actually pulling. I'm supposed to get it through the thread way. Unless this, this guy's damaged, sometimes it happens. Get a bad one. I think it's the way this is, right? The thread, but the thread looks opposite. Come on. There we go. Shoot. I think it's this way, but it doesn't feel like it's this way. That's the problem. All right, let's try this way. Push the thread in. There we go. Oh, now I hear a clip. There we go. See, I hear a clip, clip. Okay, so there's, that's the right way. All right, so let's see. Oh, wow, look. It pulls them out. See, look. Got definitely half an inch of clearance right there. Now, for any reason, it gets soggy again. It starts turning this way, so it won't go this way. So that should definitely solve that problem there. It's not going to melt our nice aluminum canister here, oil oil filter canister. So we can see here it melted it and put some on the top of him right there. I don't want to put any my finger thumb near that. That it gets hot. All right, so it's, now, it's, now it's well taken care of. All right, so let me see if I can get a plier and give it a little bit more finger muscle. This area here, I need to pull that guy tight. I can try to pull him with this plier, but he's probably going to... Well, he ain't going to even cut, so I can probably use this guy to pull. He'll grip, but he won't cut, right? So, yeah, look at that. I can actually use him to pull. And then we'll use him to cut, too, once we get enough tight. I'll do the roll. There we go. Got all the finger muscle I want. Oh, boy. Stacking on top of each other now. Is that... Is that... There we go. This is good. All right, now it's time to cut. All right, so there we go. It's nice and away from the exhaust, like that. Almost a thumb apart. Well, almost, how about, yeah, almost a thumb apart from the exhaust right there. I'm glad we checked it. They, uh, we kept on driving and kept on banging that. We might have been, now let me go and get the plier and cut off, cut off the, there we go. You guys to see him see how far away he is now it's a good thing so that was it and then we're gonna go ahead and put our let me see if I can pull it this way I need to pull it where I can I can cut it the most off it I don't want sharp edges that's the thing all right I think that's it or hopefully I don't cut him and cut any part where he doesn't need to be cut there we go uh -huh. oh it's pretty clean cut all right, hopefully the little bits fell off. If not, it will fall because the wind will drag it forward. Because nothing really stays in here anyway. You, know, you put something in here and eventually the wind will pick up on it. It will glide it out. So this is good. Now see, look, I can force it to come to this exhaust and it won't. It's, just, it's going against the um, tie strap, which we should have done that in the first place. But we didn't know. We didn't know. We tied it the other way where it actually helped the tie strap push forward to the exhaust now it's gonna actually do what we want it to so here we go uh, uh, Ricky what do you do that for man all right all right we're gonna try now to actually lock it in let's see how we can lock this sucker all right, here we go First of all, we do have to unlock it, right? And I think it's bi-directional, just like any other lock. You can either put it this way, right? Or take it out, Let's see here. Put it this way. I just really like this lock. For one thing, it feels good. Maybe because it's just so new. And look at that, it just has like a little, it just helps you push out of it. it just feels like so cool. 
All right, so let's go ahead and insert our lock here. This is our lock. So we're gonna try to figure out how we're gonna kind of wrap this guy around. So you remember there's one hole through here. So what, I guess maybe this is a good thing because it has a, a hole where we can feed like this, like a long rod. So this is like a foot long, I guess. Okay, here's the first hole in the area. So let's see here. We'll poke it through here. What I really want to do is get part of the frame too. So we might not be able to, or we might not. We'll find out. We're gonna poke it through here, right? This is good. This is like a feeding here. It's easier to have a little feeding hunt. I think this is the only type that makes that way for us. Oh. All right. So then I want to go through the rim, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it to my CBT cover. I think rub, rub, rubbing it through the CBT cover is gonna cut more, more damage than that. So, gonna go through the rim. This is probably <laughs> to keep a guard. Okay, let's swing this guy around. All right, now let's see how else we can do with this. Um, we don't, we, we don't have to actually poke through both. The, I mean, no one's gonna try to rip through. So. We can go ahead and put through the other rim. Or maybe go through the... Let's see. See, the, the frame is all the way over here, though. That's a problem. Huh. We might be able to do something through that. So we got through the rim. And we got to one cover, right? Not a big deal. All right, let's go ahead and poke it through the circle now. And let's see what we can drag it to. That's just locks the wheel, which is not big. Well, it is a big deal if someone can't really scoot it. So, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and, let me just get this guy's leg back up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through this, through this here. It's supposed to be an easy setup, so you don't have to kind of worry about it. So we got through the cover, we got through one of the rims, and here I am, pulling it through this, bring it back. All right, so that's, <laughs> there we go, not bad, look. <laughs> now we can jam this somewhere over here, but it wouldn't make no, no difference. <laughs> now we really want to drop this down a little bit. There's another one right here we can put through here. And then we can put the head on here. What do you guys think? Just have this kind of hang like this, help this force down. So we got through the rim, through the other side of the cover, and then we could put the head right here. That way people know it's locked. So that might work. Let me go and bring the head a bit. Okay, so here we go, we'll put it through here. All right, so here we go, we got lock. I don't even know if we need the key actually to lock it. I don't think we do. So let me try to get the key out. Let me go and try to get the key out real quick. Don't want to scratch it. Okay. Oh, the key stays in there until you actually lock it, I guess. All right, so we're gonna go and put the, this guy through here. I don't know why, really. Well, I mean, well, just to have it there, huh? All right. If he puts too much weight on the fabric, then we're going to take him off. Okay, there you go. When you push him down, then you can probably take the key out. There you go. How about you guys think? Kind of weighs this down, too. I think over time, it might start putting pressure and weight and ripping. <laughs> Must be a better way to maybe do the opposite. Uh, this guy, he can be squeezed out through anything. So we just did a wheel lock, that's pretty much it. That's, I'm not sure how secure that is. So we got a wheel lock. I guess people see it, they might be intimidated. I mean, it looks like a freaking sledgehammer. So we got that guy wheel locked with the cover yanked down. And then on this side, he's pulled in like this way, which in a way covers our CBT, kind of mirrors that idea. I wish I could take it around the bike frame one more time too, but I think it's fine. This one here, we can drag it a little bit more down. Oh, this one's getting tight here. A bit of force. 
Again, the mirrors here is getting tight. You see here, my brother did his favor. He kind of wet. Look at that. Just bounce, repels. No problem there whatsoever. I think it's good. Let's try it out this way. If it creates a further problem. Yeah, people see that, they'll say, oh shit, it's a pretty heavy bolt there. They might not try anything. Who knows? Just don't like the idea of this hanging though. So just don't want it to rip. There we go. How about that? Looks more fashionable. <laughs> Either way, should be okay. Golly, look at these guys, man. Can they just sew the thread a little bit better? <laughs> All right. You would think, huh? For like almost a hundred bucks. Open box. They do a little better. New one was like 150. They would do at least a little bit better. But I think it's getting good now. I think we're good. All right. So that's it. So that will be our deterrent. And also we have the alarm too, right? Let's arm it. Ready? Oh, sorry. So we unlock it. Look at this guy here. And we got a little guard dog. So he doesn't know where it was coming from. Okay, I'm gonna hit the arm button. There you go, zip. And we want the alarm to go. This is how loud it is. So, unarm, arm. I better not play with it too much to want to drain my battery out. So, that's it. That's our second security there. So, if they see this lock chain there, one thing they'll say, oh, well, especially with park it out. Let's make sure that these covers are not dragged in the ground. I'd rather use it to bring it forward than have it drag in the ground, right? So it could almost reach the ground here, but it's not, so that's good. So everything's secure. We just need to tighten this guy here or do what we need to do here. There we go. This does put a little weight on this mirror here. So I don't know about hooking it on there. I think it serves no purpose really, other than just dragging this mirror weight down. So let's probably not hook it. Let's find somewhere else to probably maybe latch it. So it won't let us take out the key until we actually lock it. So it won't even let us lock without the key. So that's a good safety feature that stays on. So oh, oh sorry. <laughs> you heard that? I guess our alarm works. And the guard dog's running. <laughs> All right, so we took that guy back off. And let me see if I can figure out a way to maybe use him a little bit more thoroughly. Uh, first of all, let me bring this card for so I can lay, figure out how we're gonna lock him without sacrificing what we need to. Oh look, we can probably put him through here, let him hang. Again, he's going to be able to be taken out. It's not a big deal here. But he might detour him a little bit. So let's go through here. I don't want to touch the exhaust again. Okay, let me see. I'm going to try to see if I can put him through here. So let's see if I can feed him through here. Oh. Okay, there we go. Take out the keys. I mean, this is just holding him. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't think he's he's able to get out. Or is he? Let's see. He creates like a hook, sort of. You can say here. But people can wedge this key out, right? Let's see if they can wedge this key out. I'm going to try to see if there's a way to wedge this key out. So here we go. We got the exhaust in the way, of course. It makes it inconvenient. Let's see if we can drag him all the way. Look at that. We can drag him all the way to the other side and he's free. <laughs> so he's not really security there. I guess it's maybe just to keep him off the ground. That's probably a reason. All right. And it'll probably make some noise. So we can use this just to keep him off the ground. Not really, not really securing anything more. Or can we? I'm trying to figure out if we can or not. I might be able to put him through this beam here. Maybe through this beam here. Maybe. What do you guys think? 
Let me open him up. Well, at least we got our rear wheel uh, locked down. Let's see if we can do it this way now. Have to put the key in there. All right, there we go. Now he's looking like he's this guy right here. Whoa. Oh, it's a magnet. That's what I was wondering. What the heck is pulling him in? All right, let's see this. It doesn't really matter if it goes through here or there. Because I can put it through here just to make it harder for them, right? And you just kind of hang around with the exhaust area, sort of. I don't want to really touch the exhaust. So. There you go. We'll just have it hang like this or something. Well, at least we got the cover secure. This rear one is secure. He's just, there's a magnet here that holds him in place, I guess. So, we'll leave it like that. You guys see it? His hands, the magnet there. Just get him off the ground. I just don't want a whole bunch of chain to be on the ground. I don't know if it gets rainy or rusty or what how these guys are going to react but he can still spin so it's not a problem there well, hopefully they don't use my own lock tool against me do damaging to this the bike right oh there it is right there you guys So it's just mainly to use this as a rear. Unless when we go up somewhere we can try to park. I wonder. No, it'll still be able to squeeze through these guys, no problem there. I was wondering if our rim can actually use this head part instead, but you can see the rim here. He's it's pretty open. He can just pretty much tilt a certain way and he'll come right out. So that's not gonna do any good there. But at least it got our cover secure. No one's gonna steal the cover because they have to rip on one side. And so that's hooked there. I would put the covered hang hanging on here, but I just don't want to put the weight on this guy too much, too long. See here, this stays afloat, so that's no problem there. All right, I think that's about it. That's the only thing we got. So when we're ready to travel tomorrow, uh, we're gonna be able to turn this guy around. Wow, look at the brake dust here on this guy. Look at that. This guy right off of there. Guys, that that dirty that quick on the ground? Look, I just got it right, right around here. Look at that. Alright, so when we're ready to travel tomorrow, we are going to be able to flip this guy around, unlock him. We should just keep him. It just makes it hard for us to unlock, really. It doesn't make anything for the thieves. These, what they're gonna do is ignore all this, just cut it. Actually, you know, I like this magnet, it's strong, it really holds this guy in place, sort of in place, uh, sort of hold the hammer in place. not going to go anywhere it's going to get caught in the wheel that's for sure but we want to make sure we give our guy here some access slack here these guys will eventually start getting banged up I just don't kind of like the nice look right now as it has it so I could probably do that and hang it up oh, there we go we'll keep it off the ground that's probably what we'll do. At least keep it off the ground like that, right? Alright, let's go and arm it again. I think they moved this around a lot. Okay, it's arm. So watch this. Okay, that. Just that little tap on the crank crankcase vibration, really. Alright, so that's it. We'll lock it. Alright, that's it. Alright, Michael from NCY Store signing out, you guys. See you guys tomorrow. We're gonna break the bleed. And then the core is blue Loctite at the end of the day though. So in the meantime, we'll put more oil tomorrow.
before we go. We'll check out the oil level once everything settles in because right now it's parked in the plane. So, give it plenty of time to actually level in.